In the Swing of Things, simple golf tips to improve your game. Do you get nervous on the first tee? We're here today with David Wright, a sports psychologist. And David, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about how to quiet your mind and relax your nervous system so you can feel comfortable on the first tee. Great. We'll be right back. David, I've noticed in the last 10 years, sports psychology, your profession, has really been the major change in professional sports. I mean, everybody from Tom Kai to Tom Watson's used sports psychologists. Uh, you yourself, you work with many players from around the world, namely Marta Figueres Doty and Patrick Burke. How can the average player use that information to help them play better? Well, when the average player walks on the first tee, many of them feel tremendous anxiety. Their anxiety is about, how am I going to hit this shot? What are these people going to think? Tour players are not a lot different. They just have a lot of experience in dealing with it. And so when they get on the first tee, they can do the same things that the tour players do, the same things we teach them. First thing would be learning how to breathe properly. Uh, the breath, breathing really drives the nervous system internally. If you can learn to breathe deeply and diaphragmatically, for example, put your hand on your chest hot, if you would, and one hand on your stomach. <clears throat> now, if you take a deep breath, inhale through your nose, and as you fill your lungs, if your stomach expands, you're breathing deeply. If your chest is the only thing moving, it's a shallow breath. And it's that shallow breath that drives the rest of the nervous system. And uh, when we get nervous and anxious, that's what begins to happen. We breathe quickly, and our, our breathing rate uh, increases everything else in the nervous system. It uh, also causes a quickened movement. As I walk into this shot, my movement is very rapid. It feels very normal to me if I'm nervous and anxious, but it does become very rapid. So I work with the tour players and amateurs alike, and getting them to, as they grip the club, to feel the weight of the club, become very grounded, feel the ground under their feet, and as they move into the shot, do so very deliberately, very calmly. I'm exaggerating the move, obviously, but as they set up, then their focus should be go right to their target. Great player, Sam Snead years ago, uh, 1936, his first big match, said he was so nervous that it took both hands to put the ball in the ground, put the tee in the ground. And then he said when he stood up, the ball was a total blur. So what he did at that point, he stood behind the ball, he began to think of all the great shots he'd ever hit. Great players intuitively focus on past success, and they work on that. So. To summarize, what you can do is stand behind the ball, build it in as part of your pre-shot routine, take a deep breath, quiet your nervous system, think about, visualize and think about your past success in this situation, and then as you move into the shot, do so very comfortably, very quietly, watch your movement and stay focused in your target. And as you set up, you've, you've built a motor program in the nervous system that's gonna give you the best possible performance. So you don't have to feel any anxiety on the golf course at all. And the formula is breathe deeply from the diaphragm, quiet your movement, and focus on your past success. See you next time. In the Swing of Things is sponsored in part by TaylorMade and Titleist.